Hi, welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Hemp Ventures. I'm Morten, LB0 Fox India. And I've recently done a little bit of a series on how to do FD8 on a tablet, an Android tablet, on an iPhone, which didn't turn out to be that successful. But I want to give the iPhone option another go. And in order to do that in a in a little bit more efficient way, I got an IC705 here. Um, just as a notice, this IC705 is on loan from Christek. Christek is my favorite Norwegian ham radio store. And when they called me and asked if I wanted to borrow a 705 for the summer, I mean, who can resist an offer like that? And especially since I've been kind of critical about the 705, I've said that it's a lot of money for a QRP rig. So let's see if a month or so with the 705 will change my mind. So this is the first of probably many videos on on the 705 or where I bring the 705 doing other stuff. But the good thing about the 705 is that there is an app called SDR Control. And it's not just for the 705, it's for other ICOM radios as well, the 7610, um, and a couple more, I think, uh, which is made by the same guy that does the uh, uh, Smart SDR software for the Flex radios for, for Mac and for iOS. So it's supposedly good software. What I'm interested in is, can it do FT8 in a s simple, non-complicated way? Because this app isn't free. It's about 50 US dollars. So it's it's not free. And you pair that to radio, which is way more expensive than most QRP rigs, it better work pretty well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up the 705. I'm going to hook up my phone. And we're going to see if we can get an FT8 QSO or two to happen. And how easy it is. And the good thing is about the good thing about this is that both the iPhone and the 705 have Wi-Fi. So I'm just going to hook them up to the same network. No cables. The only cables that are hooked into my 705 now is power because I forgot to charge the internal battery and um, an antenna. Antenna-wise today, we're doing a quarter wave vertical for 20 meters. You've seen this antenna before. It's basically just five-ish meters of soda beams wire on a six meter mast, and then a radial net. Nothing magical about that. So let's get going. Let's uh, hook up the phone and see if we can make this work. And we have both the radio and the phone on the same network here. Let me know if you want me to do a deeper dive on uh, how to connect the phone and the radio to the same network. If so, I'll make a how-to video on that. But um, let's go ahead, let's um, fire everything up and take a look. We start the SDR mobile app here, get a me welcome message here. We're going to press tap here to connect. Everything's set up with the radio on the same network here, so I'm going to press connect. And boom, we're kind of connected to the radio right now. Next thing we're going to do is press the modes button here. Press FT8. Press the RX button to activate FT8. And we'll let this run for a cycle here just to see that we receive some signals. We got some signals, so let's call CQ. Press the CQ button, see if we call in the next cycle here. We're calling CQ, and you can see there, there are not many options here. You can choose even or odd. You can choose your frequency. You can see the signals coming in and what's happening on your part of the band, and that's it. But for FT8 in the field, this might be just what you need. And we got a reply here. Uniform Alpha 3 WG. I'm sending a plus one to him. Let's see what he gets back to me with. Minus 13 back. Not too bad on, um, on 10 watts here on FD8.
We got the RR73. And I can just press log here. And I can choose to save it to the log. And we'll take a look at the log before the QZO ends. We got the 73 back. And then for some reason the app sends a uh, 73 for me as well. I'm not sure why, and um, there might be some tricks in the settings. But I haven't really looked around enough to see how this works. We're done with the 73, so let's check the log. Let's press tools here, logbook. And you can see that he is in the log. And there's even a map button here. I can see the stations I've been doing, I had, I've logged with this app. And um, I mean, this is just, this is just not today. It's it's all the QSOs I have done since I've been experimenting with this app. Nonetheless, though, this works. How about uh, we uh, turn this off and go back to my face? And that was just a quick demonstration on how to do FD8 from an iPhone on an IC705. It's not an in-depth video. I didn't want to make an in-depth video for my first attempt at this. Or as you could see in the map, it wasn't really my first attempt, but nonetheless, it, it was one of my first attempts. My goal here was to show you that if you have a 705 and you have the money to spare for a $50 app, which is for portable use, basically only an FD8 app, you can do it a lot better than the previously mentioned IFDX app. It does come with a price tag though. It comes with a price tag of one hefty priced radio and a relatively hefty priced app. But if that's something you really want to do, if you want the easiest possible way to do FD8 portable, you can do this. You could either set the radio up as a hotspot or you can set the uh, phone up as a hotspot and connect both to the same network and that works as simple as that and that's pretty much it for today I just wanted to show you this and, and show you if you're a 705 and an iPhone owner that there are options besides the IFDX app not cheap options but there are options if you like this video click the thumbs up guys leave a comment down below Especially if you want me to take a deeper dive in how to set this up and where to find everything. This is just a quick overview. Leave me a, leave a comment on that. Leave a comment why you think this is a good solution. Or more importantly, if you don't think this is a good solution. I want to know everything. And if you want to support the channel a little bit financially, there are a couple of options down below. I'm not going to go into depth on that. If you can't afford it, that's cool. I appreciate it. If you can't afford it, that's cool. I appreciate you just watching the video hitting that thumbs up and leaving a comment below as i said until next time my friends 73 see you down the bands and see you in my next video